Hello everyone, I'm Therese Wong. Today I'd like to talk about arm movement. In the previous videos, I've also talked about uh, the shoulder and upper arm movement. Now in this video, uh, I'd like to give you a couple exercises that can help you uh, increase your awareness of this part of the body so you can incorporate the movement uh, into your plane. Uh, this week I've talked about this movement to uh, my students and uh, they told me that they feel much freer. So I hope this can help you as well. Now let's start with uh, the first exercise. Uh, it's like a warm-up exercise before you do any sports. It's just to rotate your shoulders like this. So this is very important in your playing as well. I'll show you in the next exercise why. Just rotate this part. So feel that you can actually move your arm here. The same thing goes for this. So put your left hand on your right shoulder and feel the movement here and actually here as well, the chest. Now why do we have to use this part of the body? Why do we have to use the arm in our play? Because if you only use the fingers, that can only get you so far. You can articulate the nerves and uh, maybe can get up to a certain speed. But if you want to go for a further speed, more drama, more volume, and uh, more evenness and rhythm, and uh, smoothness in the phrase, longer phrasing, you cannot do it with just this part. And a lot of times when uh, people play with uh, this finger focus technique, they feel they have a lot of tension in the forearm because they tense up a lot in only one set of the muscle and so when you are only tightening one part of the muscle and not relaxing it you know, using like two sides of the muscle alternatively then you just get tired very easily so what we want to do is use big muscle right, like upper arm and then eventually the shoulder blade and then like the whole body so we can actually move around like this like we play, like we are doing kung fu but we can move around in this dimension, right? Instead of just this, this is a very limited dimension. Now, so the second exercise is this. I'm trying to put something on the keys like this. Then next, now if you can feel that you are using the arm to pick up your hand and place the fingers on top of the key and hit and then bring the fingers down with your upper arm instead of here right? we are tightening this part when you try to put something up or take something down you wouldn't do this but you wouldn't like tighten this part because you want to use the whole arm to play on something right? so it's the same principle goes for playing the note you use the whole arm Our movement is phrasing. When we try to play the notes up with the right hand, it's okay because we are opening up the arm right from the away from the upper torso. But then when we go down, so for some reason a lot of people try to do this. They want to go uh, back to the same route like this and then like that. No, it's not. It's not on the same track. But think about like and you're running on the track field. Like you're running this way, you don't go back the same way. You go around and go down. So we keep some distance, some space between the upper arm and the upper torso. So the same principle goes for left hand and left arm. That when we go down it's okay because we are opening the upper arm naturally. But then when we go up, a lot of the times we try to do this. We press. We press with our wrist, we press, we squeeze our upper arm this way. It's totally wrong. We want to go this way. So we go up, we go down, 
And then we go up, we rotate our shoulders so we have space. We keep some space between the upper arm and the torso again. And then we move like that. All right, we keep the torso higher and then balance ourselves with the right leg, the right foot. So we're not collapsing this way. So we do this and then we rotate. Instead of this, right, we're squeezing. Or we do this. No, we don't do that. Okay, we're not generating the motion from the elbow. The elbow is coming up when we are moving the upper arm as well, but it's smaller movement, right? Not like, what? Ah. It's going up because we are rotating this part rather. Okay. So I hope that this can help you to feel more of this part, to be more aware of the upper arm and the shoulder, the whole arm movement. And then gradually we can cooperate the whole body, the shoulder blade and the upper body and the lower body into our plane. In the next video I will talk about the wrist because obviously a lot of people only know about down and up. They don't know about sideways and the right. That's about the alignment of the hand and the forearm. Until next time, this is Therese Wong. Cheers.